Hey guys, it's Mike Malave here in Dr. Phillips and today I wanted to show you this new location here in the beautiful heart of Orlando. So we're going to take a look at some townhomes here and what I mean by location, this is it. You have one of the best locations you can want here when you're honestly three minutes from Restaurant Row which is just up the block and around the corner. From Universal Studios you're probably about seven minutes away from there and then ultimately you have International Drive where you have the Orlando Eye, plenty of restaurants on top of Restaurant Row that you can go to. Now this location here is brand new. They are just building this community and it's hot. As you can see I'm sweating but no this community itself is actually pretty hot too. I'm going to show you the larger unit now. We're going to be taking a look at these two different properties. You got the bigger one here and you got the smaller one on this side. They're both three bedroom, two baths, but follow me, I'll give you more details inside. So as you come up to the house, you get a pretty nice entrance. It is a townhome, but these doors are pretty tall. It looks like these are about 10 feet tall. Come on in and you can see, like I told you, three bedroom, two baths, it's actually two and a half baths, but you get a flex space as soon as you walk in that you can make into an office. Or you can use this as a guest bedroom because it has its own little closet space. Ultimately, looking at this space here, like I said, good for office, good for guests coming in. You can use it for anything honestly you would like, but it's right off of the downstairs bathroom where all the guests can come in and out. They honestly have no reason to go upstairs. Now, as you come in, you see with the high ceilings as you walk in, still a townhome, but those ceilings go up pretty high. If you follow me, you're gonna take yourself into pretty much the great room, where it's like your combo of living room, dining room, and kitchen, all in one. Here, you can have your living room set up pretty much to have your TV on this wall, nice little couch here, and still have enough space for your bar stools, and take a look at this kitchen. Honestly, for me, you guys know, I'm all about the food, but these cabinets, nicely detailed. That's one of the good things here about this community is that they have so many different options. I believe it's about nine different options you can do to have different finishes, color schemes, and even cabinet layouts. Pretty cool here. This is your walk-in pantry. Plenty of space in there. Some may call it Harry Potter's original home. I don't know what you want to call it. But... <laughs> I told you pretty much the kitchen is the heart for me and the same thing with this home here. Like I said, you got your dining room here, your living room here, and the great thing, it is a townhome, but you still have a two-car garage out back. That's one of the things here that I honestly wish that they build more of. Two-car garages are actually going away more and more, but this one, you have it. These townhomes here are actually pretty cool. We're standing in 1,900 square feet, a little bit more or less. And the small one we're going to show you is about 1,600 square feet. Overall, it's still good living space. Down here is just for your guests to come in. Get one more look before we head upstairs. Talking about space, I didn't mention they do make a good space here. That's the closet underneath the staircase. So even though you have a nice big staircase here, you still make good use of that space underneath. Now follow me upstairs. This is normally when I zoom in really fast and I run really fast, but we don't have the technology. So just make pretend I ran up here really fast. Cool thing is, it's still split up. So if you're a family and have some kids, you actually have your own privacy because your master is on the opposite side of the kid bedrooms. As you come this way, you got your master with your bath. Nice private space behind that second door. It is not a Jack and Jill. That is the privacy room. I think we all know what happens in here. But as you get my point, you get your own private space even though you're in a townhome. Another cool feature is you don't miss out on any space. Look at your walk-in closet. Talk about city living in the middle of the city. You can see the Orlando Eye right from your master bedroom. You're surrounded by two lakes as well. Come on, follow me. I'm going to show you the kids' rooms, which tend to be a lot smaller, but in this larger floor plan at 1,900 square feet, they're actually pretty good size. Here's their shared bathroom as you walk in. Boom, boom. You got your extra linen space up here 
So you're not losing very much. Like I said, it's 1,900 square feet, pretty much the size of a single family home. And your full washer dryer room with your little bath thing that would go in the corner, bañero, depends on what culture you are, you call it something different. Pretty much you wash the really dirty stuff there. Come on in here, you have the smaller of the two bedrooms, which still does have a pretty nice closet size. Still good walk-in closet. And this is the smaller of the other bedrooms. Follow me. And this is where you see the big difference in the townhomes. This is one of the secondary bedrooms, but you got about like 14 feet here of bedroom space. And you have a pretty big closet with double doors. So you got about 14 feet by maybe 13 feet here, and this is a secondary bedroom. The master bedroom is pretty sweet because you have those nice tray ceilings, add a little accent on there. But if you follow me, we're gonna do that whole magical thing again where I run down the stairs really quick, and I'm gonna show you the other unit. Let's go. Get one more look as you enter. This is the larger unit, 1,900 square feet. This one they actually listed at just under 390. Follow me. Now, as I mentioned, they're townhomes, but you're not crowded. They're mostly situated with four homes at a time, as you can see here. This is pretty much what one set of homes would look like. Here's a smaller unit, like I mentioned, 1,600 square feet. But come take a look at how they lay this out. It's actually pretty nice. Nice entry as before, but this one has some of those details I talked about. Take a look at this kitchen. You'll notice a lot more contrast, even upgraded light pictures here too. This is actually part of one of their different interior options you can choose. Yes, they have incentives. Yes, if you're interested in purchasing this type of property, give me a call and I can go over all those with you. This size, just over 1,600 square feet, is going for about 350. A little bit more, give or take. But honestly, in Dr. Phillips right now, in this sweet spot, it's very hard to find any new construction under 400,000. That's why these models that we're walking in right now have actually already been sold, I believe. So if you really wanna be in this community, you gotta get on board pretty quick. You can contact me, you'll see my information below. But one cool thing, even though it's a smaller unit on the inside, it actually gives you larger space outside with some privacy. Honestly, you can't really tell from the video, but you can fit a grill and even some outdoor patio furniture. I'd say you can have a love seat and a full couch out there and have space to still entertain. Over here, you have your powder room that's downstairs here. Here is actually a really cool option. You can either put a bar here, you can actually have this set up for one of your lovable pets, the ones that don't, you know, want to run away from you, want to stay with you, you give them a piece of your home. Great place, or you can make it into a computer space. Even though there's only 1,600 square feet, you still get a full two-car garage in the back, and you have a coat closet. It's Florida. I know I'm sweating, but we do have coats for those two weeks of the year that it gets cold. So we're going to go upstairs again. Fast forward, and I'll show you what it looks like up here. Oh, I apologize. How can I forget? Look at this pantry. So once again, smaller square footage, but they're still giving you really good pantry space to put everything you need in your kitchen. This kitchen is beautiful. Look at the cabinets, look at the crown molding, and look at the detail one more time before we head upstairs. This is pretty much all I need. Look even at backsplash. Great accents. City living at its finest, keeping it simple and nice. Fast forward up to walking. Same idea where you have the privacy space from the kids and take a look at this measure, master bedroom. Still huge, tons of space. You still have your beautiful glass shower in there. Privacy room is not as private, but you get a privacy wall. Still get dual vanities, his and her, so you don't get elbows bumped. Look at this here, boom. And look at that closet. Another great walk-in closet. All right, now let's wrap this up. I'll show you the two last bedrooms and give you a little more information on the community itself. So just like the other one, 
upstairs bath where the kids can share. And this is where you really see the difference. These are pretty much identical bedrooms. You're taking a look at this one. It's about 11 by 12 in here. Good enough space for the kids. Still has a walk-in closet there. And then you have the identical but flip mirror side over here. Overall, it's a really good location, sweet price, and here you actually get access to splash pads for the kids, dog parks, and access to the lakes if you want it. Something I want, you got two lakes back here. I think you'd actually see one right over here. Take a look at that view, guys. You get access to use canoes, and even the single family homes get access to have their own docks. So then guys, contact me below, 407-680-1300. We're here in Dr. Phillips asking about the property. Have a good one.